Welcome to Nextstar TV, a free resource that uses video tutorials to explain IT topics. My name is Emily, and today's video is Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 16 Margins. In this video, I'll be covering how to adjust margins and gutters. Alright, so today we're going to talk about margins, and margins are the areas between the text and the edge of the page on each side of your page. So you'll have margins all around your text, which would be on the top, the bottom, the right, and the left. And as a default, Word 2010 sets your margins to one inch on all sides. So you can also adjust your margins. Now Word has margin presets that you can choose from. To see these, all you need to do is go to Page Layout, click the Margins button, and you'll see the preset margins. As I said, normal is just one inch everywhere. You can have a narrow margin, a moderate margin, a wide margin, um, a mirrored, which will allow you to have margins for if you were doing a book or a booklet. Now you can also create your own custom margins. To do this, you'll just come down to custom margins, click it, and you'll see the page setup window come up. So up here you can adjust your margins to whatever you want them to be. And down here you'll see a preview of what your margins will look like once you apply it. You can also choose if you want to apply the margin change to the whole document or from this point forward in the document. So if you select that wherever your cursor is, from that point forward is going to be where the margin change is. So if you just click OK, you'll notice that my cursor was down here, so this top stays the same as how it was already set, but down here the new margins that are requested has taken place. Something else I want to talk about real quickly is gutters. So what a gutter is, is when pages are bound together, you're going to lose space on the center area. Well, that center area is called the gutter. So obviously it makes sense to adjust your margins when you're doing a book or a booklet, so that way you account for that loss of space that you're going to have in the middle. So to adjust for gutters, you're going to come up to margins, click custom margins, and you're going to look in the multiple pages area because this is when you're going to be connecting pages so you'll have a gutter. So you can have a normal setting which is just going to um, ignore that gutters exist. You can do your mirror margins which is where your odd numbers will be adjusted on the left and your even page numbers will be adjusted on the right. So if you click this you'll see the preview. You see that they adjust the margins um, on either side like a book would be to adjust for that gutter. You can also choose uh, two pages per sheet and this is when you're printing two pages on one sheet of paper um, on either side so this will adjust your margins appropriately. You can also choose book fold and this is the same as two pages per sheet except that landscape's the only orientation that you can use and you'll need to specify how many sheets per booklet. And this is useful because Word will reorder your pages when you're printing so that they'll come out right to be t printed two-sided and stapled in the center. Thank you for joining Nextstar TV for Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 16 Margins. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to visit www.nextstar.tv for other tutorials or subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com front slash nextstara.